think it around corners. It's very responsive to input, um, very quick, quick response, good turning. Um, comparatively easy to drive, I would say. But it's with its small line maintenance on, on B road, it's very good. Uh, on motorway, it's effortless. Uh, at 80 mile an hour, you're just, just stroking the throttle. But the aerodynamics is just so, it's so easy to, 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 uh, to, to maintain high cruising speeds. Mm. 80 to 100 mile an hour is no problem. So, um, very pleased with the gear change considering it's mid engine. Or uh, invisibility. From a practical point of view, the, the, the luggage capacity it can be used every day, um, getting in and out of the car, especially with the, the golden door, it'll be, it'll be uh, very easy for that type of mm. car. Um, and it's economic. And it's economical. It's economical. We know that as a steady, as a steady hundred mile an hour, it's, it's returned 38, 39 miles a gallon. No problems. Designed it about four years ago. Up to now, I've been using Alpha Sud engines, but people weren't interested in Alpha Sud engines. So I decided to look for something that people could, could identify with, like Vauxhall or any other transverse engines. Quite a lot of experience in building mid engine cars. Um, they design a little retro in certain aspects, and perhaps a little bit like a P4 Ferrari at the front. I wanted it to be small. It's six inches, seven inches longer than a minute. Obviously wider than a minute. So I, find, I find small cars easier to drive on B roads. And the actual lines, you were telling me about being inspired by aircraft. The aircraft, the, the, the 50 single seater cars with that barrel shape. Did you get it pretty well right the first time? More or less. More or less. I'll show you the model. Ah. So that's what you started with, a little yeah. model. Yeah. Start a million miles away from there, is it? Yeah. So what's in the kit then, John? You get the front suspensions complete, discs, calipers, which are four, um, anti-roll bars with the links. Come to the back and you get the same thing, suspensions, uprights, rear calipers, or oh, the chassis powder coated, complete, the body, the screen fitted, the rear screen fitted, the doors fitted with, with the struts. And what are the main bits that uh, the builder's got to get? Got to get the engine and box and half shafts, dry flanges from a Mondeo 1800 or 2 litre with all the injection, the ECU, the wiring. The yeah, very part. pretty. What are they off? Commercial vehicles, I think. The heller. Just drill the holes in there and place them inside there. Mm -hmm. What about soundproofing? Soundproofing in the back here. Uh, we use something like cotton wool, it's about two inches thick. Yeah. And it's it's made made for boilers. And it's good, you know, for engine mm. And it, it's like a sound bed as well, and it's, it's for nothing. Where's the name Belva come from? Well, we were watching television one night, one of Richard Attenborough's um, programs, they've gone tigers. And the wife sat there and I mean, this tiger went past, she said, Cabela Belva, what a beautiful beast. That's what Belva means, you see, thought, bloody hell, what a good name. In Italy, people went mad about this car, and that's, for me, it says everything. It's quite a good accolade. Yeah.